You can yield in long tasks to improve performance. Animate elements with intrinsic sizes. There's some changes to anchor positioning syntax, and there's plenty more. Dropping in to say hello, I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 129. Long tasks delay the browser's ability to respond to user input and create a perception that a site is slow, impacting critical performance metrics like IMP. With scheduler.yield, you can break up long tasks into smaller chunks, improving responsiveness by explicitly yielding back to the main thread. It lets you tell the browser, hey, the work I'm about to do could take a while. So if you need to paint a frame, respond to user input, or have other important tasks, it's okay, I can wait. Just sprinkle this simple line of code into your JavaScript, and it'll give the browser breathing space, avoiding IMP issues. Importantly, it allows continuation of your code to be prioritized so that you don't lose out by yielding. We recommend liberal use of scheduler.yield in functions between any larger chunks of work. CSS animations are pretty sweet, but they typically require explicit sizes. You couldn't use the intrinsic sizing keywords like auto, min content, or fit. The CSS property interpolate size opens up a new set of animations that weren't possible when using intrinsic sizing keywords. Without it, there's no transition when hovering over this button. But adding interpolate size allow keywords, the button gets a beautiful transition animation effect. Specifying interpolate size allow keywords on the root element sets the new behavior for the entire page. We suggest doing this whenever compatibility isn't an issue. For finer control, the CSS calc size function, similar to calc, also supports operations on exactly one of the supported intrinsic sizing keywords. When performing layout calculations, the size keyword evaluates to calc size basis's original size. CSS anchor positioning landed in Chrome 125, but after some additional discussions within the CSS working group, there are a few changes to the spec and implementation. If you're already using CSS anchor position, you'll need to update your code as soon as possible. First, inset area has been renamed to position area. This was preferred because the phrase position helps you to remember that the property is applied to the positioned element, not the anchor element. Second, position try options is renamed to position try fallbacks. This helps you remember that these are just fallbacks to the primary position, which is determined by the base styles. Finally, the inset area functional syntax is being removed from position try. Therefore, use position try fallbacks top instead of position try fallbacks inset area top. Of course, there are plenty more. There's a new intel method for formatting durations with support for multiple locales like this. WebGPU Canvas can now use the full range of the display for HDR images. And there are a few deprecations and removals that might impact some developers. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the post linked in the description or in the release notes. Hit that subscribe button now so that you don't miss any of the latest Chrome DevTools videos, the CSS podcast, and more. Filling in for Adriana, I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 130 is released, we'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.